you don't like your accent and have spent time trying to modify it and change it to resemble uh, an anglophone accent, then this video is for you. In today's video, we're diving straight in with some stats as to why you should embrace your accent. If you haven't seen episode one, then go ahead and watch it with the link up here and then make sure you come right back. Why should you embrace your accent when you speak in English? Reason number three, because most English speakers in the world don't have an Anglophone accent. Let me give you a quick maths and history lesson. According to the 2021 edition of Ethnologue Languages of the World, there are 978.2 million people across the globe who speak English as a second language. That's compared to 369.9 million for whom English is their mother tongue. In other words, more English speakers don't have a native accent than those that do. Thank you and good night. I'm going to keep those numbers up on screen so they really sink in. Number of people who speak English as a second language, 978.2 million. Number of people who speak English as their mother tongue, 369.9 million. That's 264% more people who speak English as a second language. Put another way, for every one person who speaks English as their mother tongue, 2.6 people speak English as their second language. You get the point. Unless you live in an Anglophone country, it's likely that most of the people you interact with will have a non-Anglophone accent. So embrace your accent. Reason number four. Embracing your accent will show your employer that you are a hard worker. We covered this in episode one, so I'm not going to repeat the whole point again, but learning a second language is hard work. Don't hide the fact that you've put that work in. It's important to note that most jobs will not require you to have an Anglophone accent when you're speaking. Usually employers prioritize fluency and confidence when speaking in English over a particular accent. I would strongly suggest that you spend your time developing your confidence and your fluency when speaking in English rather than trying to modify and change your accent to resemble an Anglophone accent. It takes a lot of time to change the way you speak. Ask any speech therapist. Spend that time on strengthening other skills. This is a really important subject because it's something that a lot of people worry about. So we've written a whole blog post on the subject of embracing your accent. So do me a favor, go and read it, then embrace your accent, stop worrying about it, and start spending your time on the other core English language skills. That's everything for our Embracing Your Accent series. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe. We have videos coming out to help you with business English. Um, and in the meantime, embrace your accent, embrace its tones, embrace its textures, and I will see you next time. Bye.